Hi everyone and welcome to another video. It's another beautiful autumn day today and I want to start preparing this area for actually pruning this large bush uh, at the back. However, because there's so much going on in this area, it's kind of a mess at the moment. You saw it in one of the previous videos um, that probably this video will, will just do the preparation and make everything nice again. So that I gain then actually access to the um, large quins in the background and I'll prune the quins uh, in a separate video. So what are we going to do today? Here in this area, we had a large bush growing that we removed a few months ago because it didn't really fit in the picture. It was also very old and uh, didn't grow properly anymore. Now, because there is no shade anymore from this bush, what you can see here is loads of ferns started to grow. Or they used to be here, but they just got more because they have more light. And these ferns we're actually going to take out and most likely plant somewhere else. Then this area here, we have uh, weeds that need to come out, as you can see. That's quite a lot of work. And then we have uh, raspberries growing. So I think the, the previous owners of this property used to grow raspberries in this area. And we are still actually uh, struggling with those because years ago, I remember my mom and I dug them all out really by the roots, so really properly. And you see, they're still growing. You see, look at this. I'm back here. This is all raspberries growing. Um, inside these large quins and like on it and over it. So all those need to uh, come out first. And then uh, we need to take care of this area. This is our little garden swing. And we have here morning glory that is now already dried off, but still wrapped around. This was growing here during the summer. So uh, that needs to be removed. And then in the background here, uh, we have uh, a few years ago planted this hedge of uh, Japanese hollies. Uh, but because then we decided to plant a couple of trees here, and because the bush behind me has become really huge, this hedge is completely overgrown. And what we will do is we will take out this hedge and plant it somewhere else uh, over there in this area. I got my spade to dig out the ferns and we will put them to the side so we can plant them later on. So the ferns, they normally come out quite easily, but I'm digging them out a little bit larger, as you can see, because we want to transplant them and I want to get the, the complete root ball out. So you see, this is actually quite large um, chunks I dug out, but like that, I'm hoping that they will uh, take in their new position. The ferns are all out. We have a few holes left in the ground, but we will fill them in later to make it all flat again. The next step is to remove this morning glory so that we can um, move this swing out of the way. With the morning glory, I mean, as you see, this one is already dried off, so I will be careful that seeds aren't popping off because all these should be seed pots, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you see here. And I do not want this to spread even more in the garden because they spread so easily here. And um, also I'll try to pull out the root as uh, good as possible. Uh, in my experience, the morning glories here, they built really deep roots. And now that it's dried, it may not be possible to pull them out completely anymore. But I'll do my best to remove as much as possible. So I'll make a start at the bottom here. Uh, sorry, at the top, not at the bottom trying to catch these um, seed pots. And normally during the summer, we get loads of those growing along the fence line. Um, and I do remove them on a regular basis. And I usually remove them before they even uh, bloom and build seeds. This one, however, because this area was um, 
not very well maintained this year, I must confess. Um, I didn't remove this one on time, so this is why that plant here has um, seeds built. Next, I'm gonna remove all these weeds here in this area and work my way towards the bush before I get started on the uh, raspberries. So for weeding, um, there is quite a lot of weeds and like larger weeds. I do not want to use a spade though because we already made enough holes taking out the ferns and I don't want any more holes in this area really. So I will be using my weeding tool, which you may know from other videos. Uh, that one usually lifts out the weeds uh, just fine. We'll see for the big ones, but it should still work. Um, and the soil is still a little bit moist from all the rain we had in September. That means hopefully I can get them out by the roots, which is always important. So I'll make a start here at the front and I'll work my way towards the, the bush. So I'm pretty much done with this area for now um, and weeding can be kind of uh, a boring task or can feel kind of um, overwhelming, especially when doing big areas like that. And of course there are um, other ways of getting rid of weeds. I personally think just that hand weeding is still the best and from what I've uh, observed uh, traveling to Japan and you know looking at um, gardeners, they, they all hand weed everything. So this is why I have always hand weeded our garden, also because I do not want to use any um, substances. And it has really brought uh, very good results in areas that are regularly maintained. So I can recommend it, even though sometimes, yeah, it does feel overwhelming with big areas. But um, it uh, requires a bit of patience, but you get used to it over time, I did. So, okay, then we're pretty much done with this here and then we can move on to removing the uh, raspberries so for the raspberries um first of all i'm going to wear gloves because raspberries they don't really have thorns but at the bottom i find these little it's like hairs they have they can be a bit stingy on the skin so i prefer wearing uh, gloves with raspberries now, um, I mentioned at the beginning of the video that uh, my mom and I actually years ago dug all these raspberries out in this area. And sometimes, maybe you disagree with me, but sometimes I find them worse than bamboo because they just spread and are just, um, it's just not possible to get rid of them. So what I will do here, I'm not gonna dig them out again. This is um, a new system I'm trying and I have tried uh, in the past where I, I tried to um, pull them out. Uh, by the root or by some of the root. So we'll see sometimes this doesn't work with larger ones, but at least with these smaller ones I'm gonna try that. So I usually grab the two growing next to each other There's usually an older one and a newer one and if I just pull them gently uh, You see they come out by pieces of root 
and there you see there were other ones. You see they just grow from the roots. So they do spread so much. So let me know if you also grow raspberries or have old raspberries in your garden that spread. And I find that even though you see like they sometimes it just rips out a, um, a small piece of the root, but still I find this is um, easier and faster than uh, digging large areas up. So I will continue like that. And then once an area is like clear, and then if you just keep pulling out small ones, you hear the pheasants in the background, they're coming back for the winter, uh, then it's kind of easy to maintain. It's just this bit has not been maintained in quite a while. And this is why we have larger raspberries growing here. On those, you can see these little hairs I mentioned. I mean, those are now already dried ones, but I find they can be um, a little bit stingy on the skin, especially when they're growing fresh, you know, the, the, the stalks, that these like hairs are a bit stingy. So this is why I wear gloves with um, raspberries. All the ones here are actually coming from inside this large uh, quince and I can't really get all the way down because there are too many branches and also uh, quinces of that size have uh, quite long thorns actually. So this is why I'm being careful here and what I will do, um, it's normally it's best to grab them at the very bottom and pull them out, the raspberries, and here because I can't reach the bottom I will just try to reach in as far as I can and pull and see how much root I can get out with it. That was quite good. Um, also here with this, I find that if the ground is a little bit moist from rain, I find it easier as opposed to doing this when it's completely dry. And now I'm just trying to get the long shoot out. There we go. One and where's the other one? Here.
after mowing, you can see that now that the grass is gone, um, the holes that are left from digging out the ferns, and I'm just gonna fill them with some soil for now. We do not really have a fixed um, design or plan yet what we do with this entire area. So I'm not too uh, bothered at the moment with making it completely straight. It's just that there's no hole really that will be okay for now because we may plant here something else in the future. That's why. So it's just it's just to get rid of the extra hole. So that will be fine, just like so. Okay, good. And then last, I want to take out um, these Japanese hollies here because they just have way too dark. You can see that the air is clear now, um, that they do not have a lot of light and they're not a lot of space to grow. So they're gonna be planted on the other side. So we've already uh, loosened them with the spade. So I'm just lifting them out. And this, maybe I will pull that out of here. And just put them all here for now. Maybe lie them down. So those are the last two for now. Uh, there were actually a lot more in there, but Adam already uh, moved them the other day. And um, you can see here that the plants are quite, um, are not very dense. That's because they just didn't have enough light in there. Uh, even though these uh, hollies, they do normally well in like shaded or semi-shaded positions, but it was just too dark back there for them. And now we're hoping that in a new place, they will look a lot nicer and grow denser. And then also I wanted to show you here the moss that has developed because it was so shaded out uh, on this root ball. So hopefully we can um, keep that on there and just transfer it to the new place. Now what I will do, I will move those to where we're going to plant them in the future. We're not going to be doing that today, but you'll see that in uh, upcoming videos, the new home for those and how this is going to look. And then we'll have an assessment and a look how the um, area looks after removing all the weeds and everything else we did today. Okay, so this now is the end result. What a difference to where we started earlier on today. So all this is weeded, uh, ferns are out, we're gonna be planting them somewhere else. The holes are filled and we have removed all the raspberries. Some of them may regrow as I mentioned, but I'll just um, keep pulling them out um, as they come out of the ground. So now that uh, all this work is done and all these um, weeds are removed, we have a clean um, starting point for the future video where I will be pruning that large quint. And that brings me to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Please give us a like if you enjoyed the video and see you next time. Bye.